Today we're heading over to Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge in Ohio. Now this is one of the interesting things. This is a flyway for bird migrations. For five weeks in the spring, when the birds migrate through here, they have 80,000 visitors. So let's go take a look at this. It's not a good bird watching time, but I'm sure we have a lot to learn about the wildlife refuge. Stay tuned. G for great black swamp, um, E for eagles, and M for migration. Sort of the things that really make this place stand apart. We're using the earthen dikes now to hold the water in, right, and to manage the land as wetlands. Some wetlands are gonna have shallow water, some are gonna have barely any water, and some are gonna have deep water. And that diversity of habitat and water depth uh, allows for a diversity of wildlife. If you're a shorebird eating bugs and mud, you like shallow water. If you're a duck that dives down for fish, you like deeper water. So you're gonna see um, similarities and differences between each unit that we go around. Here, for example, you can sort of see a, a sea of cattail, right? Almost uh, one plant taking that whole area over but you also see some open water here. You know, great place for ducks to land and then to hide in the cattail. Um, if we do nothing, that cattail will take over the whole unit and there won't be a spot for the ducks to land, right? So, so management through manipulating water levels is a lot of what we do here. We pump water and move water uh, through culverts so that we can stimulate plant growth, we can stop plant growth, uh, we can create more open water areas. Uh, we can diversify the, the types of plants that are in wetland units and that kind of stuff. So sort of a mix of open water and covered water or plant, plant areas. And then within the plant community, hopefully having a, a variety of species as opposed to just a monoculture of say cattail or invasive exotic right. species that are coming right. in like Fred yeah. yeah. Bundy. So there's actually three in Ohio managed from this office. So we're what's known as a complex. It's called Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge Complex. Uh, so Ottawa National Wildlife Refuge, Cedar Point National Wildlife Refuge, and West Sister Island National Wildlife Refuge. During spring, um, if we have heavy runoff after rain events from agricultural land south of the refuge, and we know that's coming with that water is undesirable things that are going to have impacts on, you know, our ability to acquire clean drinking water, then we can look to Mother Nature and have her uh, cleanse that water as wetlands naturally do. They're, they're natural filters. They act as the kidneys of Mother Nature. So we can open up these gates, capture that water as it's coming downhill, uh, let it into the marshes, and then let the marshes uh, cleanse that water, move it from one unit to the next, and we can send it back out into the creek either in this spot or in other spots. Wow. Uh, so it enters Lake Erie cleaner than it would have had it not been cycled and funneled through the wetlands, mm -hmm. right? So uh, by doing that, we gain a lot because we spend a lot less money utilizing gas pumps like that one over there mm -hmm. uh, to pump water from the creek or from these ditches up and over the dikes into the marshes. We can instead just pay attention to the weather and the wind events and move the water gravity based um, through these culvert systems. So saving lots of money there. But then we're also addressing the, the drinking water uh, challenges that, that we have as a result of you know many sources of increased nutrients and, and pollutants that come with people's choices, whether those people be farmers or everyday, you know, homeowners and communities. What a great time. I hope you enjoyed our video of Ottawa National Wildlife Reserve. We're so fortunate that the Garden Club ladies asked us to join their tour and that we had the guide that we did that really shared about the National Wildlife role and strategies for all the refuge. Um, that was so interesting to learn about for novices and the wildlife refuges as Bob and I are. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.